The museum always is a little bit doomed to extend uh, over time. So it wasn't our first time to deal with extension, but it was the first time to have such a clear boundary between the city and the park. Uh, and also clearly distinct um, time uh, that the campus building, the existing building has. I think this space was very important to thinking about this museum uh, that belongs to the entire complex. You're right. And this is, a, in a way, a rival entry hall for coming from, you know, the other uh, pavilions. So I think it's actually quite nice, the, the air that it has and the, the grand a welcoming gesture it has and also it's full of natural light yeah and then you know you can see almost every level including yeah the auditorium so it's very yeah. public i really like this uh, gallery and tunnel, I, it's also a very important point because you see these three paintings uh, in one view. Very clear space, but you have such a diverse program surrounding it. So I can really imagine it's really like a city square because, you know, there are many things that are facing to the square. So I, I think it's, it's a beautiful, uh, not just a beautiful proportion, but it's just programmatically quite uh, rich. This is one of the quality of this architecture. It's all those little moments mm -hmm. that are provided and giving the visitors an occasion to just take their eyes up mm -hmm. and get out of where they are physically mm -hmm. through window that really brings them somewhere else mm -hmm. and connects them mm -hmm. with the other place of the, in the building. So yeah. I think it's really one of your achievements and right. I'm so glad. And also when you are inside you feel the city, you feel the park. So it's not just the uh, art that you're experiencing, but you're really experiencing the, the core asset of Quebec City, which is of course the city itself, but also the park and art is being the mediator, a catalyst between these two entities.